everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing my birth center go bag. Um, so this is what I am taking. It's just a carry-on bag. It has wheels on it and I just think this makes it easier to grab. You can wheel it in there um, or you can carry it and most everything fits in here um, except baby's items. So this is what we will be taking um, when we are ready to go to the birth center. So I wanted to just film this one really quick for you guys um, in case someone is looking for some ideas for a birth center bag versus a hospital bag. Um, as you know, this is probably a little bit different than giving birth in a hospital. Um, usually you don't stay overnight. Um, and typically at a birth center, you get to go home like four to eight hours, somewhere in there, after you give birth. Um, so you're leaving fairly quickly. You don't need as many things. Um, although I tend to overpack, and so I usually do pack a few extra items just in case we um, may be transferred to the hospital for some reason. Baby comes early or if there's some complications or anything like that. Last time we did end up at the hospital, so I was very grateful for those few extra items that I packed, um, like an extra set of clothes and just a few extra things that I did pack and I was very glad for. So this will be our third that will be born um, in a birth center. And even though every birth is different, um, there's, still few, there's still things that are the same you know, things that you need to pack and things like that just to be prepared. So let's go ahead and see what I packed for our third baby at a birth center. And hopefully um, this helps you out if you're looking for something like this as well. Now the first thing that you will need, of course, for mom is a, just some kind of laboring gown. Um, the birth center would definitely have something like a robe or something to wear, but I just like to take something of my own. Um, this one is super comfortable. It's just a nice cotton and it's a dark color. So um, if it gets yucky, yeah, we can wash it. And yeah, it's not something that's a big deal if it gets stained. Um, and I will try to link whatever I can for you if you are looking for something like this. Um, this one has the snap closures. So up top here, it has the snap closures for easy skin to skin, like after baby is born. Um, and it also has the snap closures all the way down the front. Um, so it's easy to open if you need to open it really quickly. It's not overly long either, um, which is nice for laboring. And yeah, it's just a nice, comfortable um, laboring gown. It doesn't open in the back either, um, like a lot of your uh, birthing gowns would, um, because we're not gonna be at the hospital. I'm not planning on getting an epidural or anything like that. Um, so I didn't think that was necessary. And even if we did do get transferred to the hospital, um, I can wear one of their gowns if I need to. Um, the next thing that I have packed is just some, a couple pairs of some socks. I think they call these slipper socks because um, they're really nice and thick and warm. They have the little um, no slip uh, things on the bottom and they're nice and comfortable to wear just if you need to go walking and yeah, just something for your feet. So I have a couple, just some dark pairs of socks um, to wear as well. And I do like to take mostly just some dark clothing items um, because there's a lot going on and if something yeah gets ruined or whatever um, it's not that big of a deal um, and then of course we just have some underwear and there's a lot of people that prefer like the disposable diapers that's totally fine if that's something that you prefer you could totally just pack those um, I typically just prefer to get something cheap that I can just kind of throw away afterwards and it's not that big of a deal um, and then of course you'll just want some maxi pads I have um, a little stack in here with me that you will wear with your underwear um, and then just a couple of nursing bras and these are ones that I don't mind if they get wet I'm planning on um, 
probably being in the tub or shower for as long as I can for most of my labor. So um, just bringing something that it doesn't matter if it gets wet or whatever, um, it washes out and it's fine, good to go. And then of course we have our going home dress. So this is probably what I will be wearing. Just a pretty dress and um, it's a longer dress because this is winter time. Um, I wanted something just nice and long to um, keep me warm as well. This one is a nursing one and it's nice and wide at the waist so it'll probably fit nice postpartum and I can wear it um, home and I can wear it here at home as well. Um, afterwards just a pretty dress um, and it's really soft and it's very comfortable um, so this will be great for that. Just something cozy and just comfortable to come home in. A few other items for mom. Um, for afterward, just a peri bottle of some kind. These work um, a little bit better than the ones that they give you at like the hospital or the birth center. Um, a little bit easier to use. And then I have a couple different perineal sprays. I haven't um, tried this one from Earth Mama, but I thought I would take this one along um, just to have on hand. And then we have this, the After Ease, and this one will help for the after pains and things like that. Heard a lot of good things about this one, so um, I'm going to try this one. And then here is one that I just made myself. It's just some essential oils and things like that. Um, just a uh, peri spray for um, afterwards as well. So I'm going to take these along. Um, I don't know how much I'll use them there, but I'll definitely be using them um, back home for postpartum. All right, and then for my husband, um, I just have a t-shirt, something for him, um, and then just some shorts, something that he doesn't mind getting wet um, if he's in the shower with me or, um, yeah, just assisting there and he, if he gets wet, it's totally fine. Uh, and then just some sweatpants or some comfortable pants to wear home in. Again, just keeping it nice and comfortable um, for that. And then next we're moving on to some toiletry items. Um, some things we'll definitely want to, you know, take a shower and things just kind of freshen up. I'm just taking some items um, like some body wash for us, me and my husband. Um, as well as just some deodorant um, for us as well. Um, we have some mouthwash and then I just got a couple of these travel toothbrushes. These we can use them and just pitch them or whatever. Um, they don't necessarily have to come home with us. Same with these just use them and yeah they're not coming home with us um, afterwards. And then I just have a mini skincare set, like a travel size that I will be taking with. Um, it's just the smaller version of what I normally use here at home. Um, so this will be nice to have just smaller versions of that to um, take along to wash my face with and things. Don't forget your charger for your phone. This is like a 10 foot charger, so it's super long. Um, hopefully our phones will be charged up and we won't necessarily have to use a charger just in the time that we're there. But if it happens to be during the middle of the night or yeah, when our phones are getting low, we'll have this with us um, if we need it. Another kind of must have for me is a, some kind of a mint chapstick. Um, this one is really good. It just, during labor and delivery, just having a nice fresh minty um, scent and that flavor on your lips at least just helps you kind of feel fresh um, and peppermint is also good you know for um, just helping you to stay calm and kind of give you a refreshing um, yeah as you're kind of going through all of that so I want to take this along just to have it on hand um, for during labor and delivery and afterwards and then I do have a couple little gifts for the nurses. Um, so I have several different ones that they can choose from. And these are in these cute little bags. Um, and the first one 
just has a small uh, foaming liquid soap in it in a Mary Berry scent, so very Christmassy. And then it has the matching um, body icing or like a body cream. So that is the one that they can choose. And then this one, the red one, has a, a peppermint stick body lotion as well as another one of these peppermint stick um, lip butters. So yeah, I brought several of these along and I'm um, not quite sure how many nurses there will be, but I have, um, yeah, some here and they can pick what they want. Another thing that I will be taking along with me this time is some of my essential oils, just for helping in labor, keeping labor going, um, transition stages, and even afterward. Um, so we have different ones here. I made notes for my husband, <laughs> so I don't know how much I'll be able to really tell him what I'm needing um, Yeah, during that process, but he can look on here and kind of see what I need. Um, so we have the basil and the clary sage over here on this side, and those are really good for just like during labor, um, yeah, labor prep and just like getting through a transition and just things like that. Geranium is really good for like bleeding. Hopefully that won't happen, um, you know, excessively, but just in case we have the geranium as well as the helichrysum over here is good for hemorrhaging and things like that. Um, and then of course just lavender. I like to um, the, the lavender scent just kind of helps to relax me and um, so I'm going to take that one along and then I want to also add in a small um, coconut oil in here as well just to um, help with distributing the oils so that is my little oil packet right and then moving on to like some snacks and things that we will be taking um, I don't have a lot just because I'm not quite sure how long to expect um, us to be there laboring and things like that. But I'll probably add in a few more snack items um, as I think of them. So the first one that we have is just some protein bars. Um, just some good protein to snack on. And I like to kind of just be aware of what I'm packing um, as far as like snacks. Um, like for instance, like um, mixed nuts or something like that. Um, I don't really want small items um, to be going in my mouth during labor and things because we don't need that going down my throat um, during a contraction or anything. So I just take, you know, like some bars, just some easy items, but things that you enjoy, that you like, uh, you know that will be good during that time. Um, so I'll probably add some other things, not quite sure, maybe like some um, snack sticks or something like that. I was thinking, uh, we'll see what I come up with, um, but yeah, I'll probably add some of that kind of things. And then I also just have some drinks. Um, I have some Body Armor Light, and this is the one in Strawberry Lemonade. And these have electrolytes in them. There's no sugar added, so I think these will be good just to keep me going if I can just sip on some of these. Um, I also have some coconut uh, waters. These are in the pineapple flavor. These are also really good for, yeah, electrolytes and just kind of keeping you going. Um, so we'll be taking some of these. And I do have a refrigerator there. We can keep these in nice and cool and they'll be nice and cold, you know, to drink. And yeah, but most importantly, don't forget a water bottle. And this is like a big 40 ounce size. I like that it has a lit, it has a handle on it where you can easily grab it. It has a straw so you don't not have to tip it um, every time you want to drink, and it's a nice big size. Very important to stay hydrated, so drink lots of water um, along with you know your other drinks if you are in the mood for those as well. Another really good snack item to take along during laboring is some smoothies. And I picked these up. I'm thinking I probably should take a couple more, but a good smoothie is so good 
to have on hand during laboring. These just stay in the freezer. You get them out for like 10 or 15 minutes and they're ready to drink. When I had my first baby, um, the birthing center that we were at would bring me fresh made smoothies, as many as I wanted. Um, and that was so good, it was nice and cold. Um, it just felt really good to be able to drink some good fresh smoothies during laboring. Um, so I thought I'd bring these along and um, I think I'll use these. And again, we can just keep these in the freezer until we're ready to use them. And then after baby is born, um, of course we're not planning on being in a hospital, so we're not gonna be getting like meals or anything. And I'm assuming we're gonna be hungry. <laughs> so I brought a couple, just some freezer meals along, something that we can warm up in the microwave. It'll be nice and warm, just something good for us to eat. So I brought a couple of these for us. Um, and so we can just pop them in and eat these afterward. All right, so that is basically it for our bag um, as such. And now we're going to go through baby's diaper bag. This is the one that um, I have. Uh, I think it's super cute. And it was very inexpensive as well, so a plus for me. Um, and I am not sure if I'm going to be bringing my nursing pillow along or not. I did it for the others. Didn't really regret it, but I'll probably just throw this in the car seat, which is already in the vehicle, ready to go. Um, I'll probably just throw this in there. That way it goes with us. If I want it, we can go get it. If not, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so I'm gonna just throw this in there, I think. All right, so up front here in the front zipper, um, we have a couple thermal um, little pockets here for bottles, if you are bottle feeding. And then the front pocket here is like a wet, wet pocket for wet items, dirty diapers, things like that. And then it has two side pockets. So in this one, we just have a pack of the water wipes and that one. Um, these work really good for especially those first couple diapers that need to be changed. Um, these work nice for that. And then of course on the other side there's another pocket over here in the back there's a little pocket here um, nice and deep to keep some things in it has the backpack straps here in the back as well and then just the carrying handle up top all right so the first thing that we have here is just his blanket that i made for him just something nice and cozy keep him nice and warm um, yeah, if we need this one to just wrap him up, it's cold or whatever, um, we'll have this one along if we need it. Next, we have a couple pacifiers. Um, I just got the smallest size, just two of them. I don't know if we'll take them, if we'll, if we'll even need them. Um, I had one baby that took pacifiers, one that didn't. So just in case, we'll just take a little pack of those along. And then in the back here, we just have some newborn diapers, just a couple um, in there. And then moving down to the bottom here, um, I just have a couple outfits in here for him. Um, and being so we won't be there, you know, for overnight or anything, there's not gonna be anyone coming in like to take those cute hospital photos or anything. I do have um, a cute little outfit in here that if I do have time to take some pictures, I will. Um, but if not, if I'm not really feeling up to it, whatever, um, it's not that big of a deal. So I have these that are just kind of just normal um, everyday sleepers. Uh, so I have a couple different sizes. This is like a really small one, um, like a preemie size. Yeah, if he's like shorter or whatever, really small. I know my first baby was in preemie for a couple weeks. And then I just have another one in a newborn size. Just some normal sleepers that we can use. And then I'm also bringing a couple body suits to wear like under his clothes or if he's wrapped up, you know, at the birthing center, we can just put these on um, and just wrap him up to keep him nice and warm. So I just have a nice white one and then a gray one, just some neutral colors in case he does wear them like under his clothes. Um, they're just nice and neutral colored. 
And then I did get this cute little green one. Um, I thought this one was, would be really cute to take some pictures in if I have time. Um, or I have this white one that's a little bit shorter, um, just depending on his size. This one doesn't have any of the footies. So we have a couple pairs of socks um, to just go with this one. You know, if we wanna put this one on him. And then as far as some little hats to go with his um, little outfits, we have the white one to go with the white outfit. Or if he's wearing the little green socks, um, we have a little green one to match with that one. Um, so just depending what I wanna wear on him. And then this green one comes with a matching hat as well, green. Um, or if you wouldn't wanna do the white hat with that one that would work good as well and then I just have a couple burp cloths um, these are really super soft and very absorbent so I just have a couple of those just in case we need them I don't know if we will or not and then of course a couple swaddle blankets and I have just a nice white one and then this green one um, that I got as a set with another little green hat um, so I thought this one would be maybe really cute with the white outfit um, yeah so this is just a couple of swaddles that will be going in the bag as well all right so there is the the bag empty um, there's lots of different pockets all the way around lots of storage in there and I think this will work just great for for what we need and I think that is basically it what we packed for our hospital bag baby bag and everything um, now for the kids they will be going with someone else um, to stay hopefully it won't be overnight but if I go into labor evenings you know it may be so we're just going to be packing them a little backpack uh, with just like a pair of PJs um, a set of clothing just all the things that they need for an overnight stay um, so that will be in a separate backpack so that can just go out the door with them. Um, but other than that, I think that is what we packed. Now, if any of you have experience with a birth center birth um, and I missed something, let me know if you have any other ideas. Um, yeah, that is basically what I packed. And thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you got some ideas or um, just... If you're watching out of curiosity to see if you still need to pack something for your bag, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.